Okay, so mission number eight is under the gun. This is one of the few timed missions in the game where the main objective has a specific timer. If you don't reach the next uh, checkpoint, you fail. And also there's these security cameras that can see you. If they see you for a long enough time, then you fail. But there is something you can do to make it a little bit easier. And I'll show you. Things are looking good. The voodoo boys and fucking drug heads are gone. And I heard someone took out old Don Giovanni's cold private island. Yeah, with those pendejos gone, there's a whole lot of business for those matadores to take care of. Hey, it's gonna be the highlight for us from now on. Hey, amigos! Yeah, that's right! Yeah. Alright, so we need to follow El Hongo stealthily. Uh, first thing you want to do is pick up the extra spear gun rounds right here in the corner. Then head over here and head to the left of the car park area. Alright. So like I said earlier, there's these cameras that can see you even though you are invisible. And if they see you for a certain amount of seconds, then you're going to fail and start over. So these are the cameras. You got to avoid them. But there is a trick to make this level a lot easier and you can actually disable them. So over right here, just in the corner, you'll see this character right here. That is a police officer. So we'll come back to this character in a few seconds. But first, we have to do something else nearby. All right, so jump over here, jump on top of the roof, and go to the first checkpoint. I hear King Willie didn't die along with his voice, so maybe some other servitor survived too. Keep your eyes open. All right, so from here, turn right, and there's one enemy in the corner. Avoid the civilian there, and get this enemy in the corner. There you go. All right, jump back over here and make sure your wrist blades are not extended. You want just your hand because you want to grab the enemy. You don't want to kill them. And there's a police officer, grab them, jump on top of here, then jump on this area here. And you'll see another checkpoint appeared on your screen, which is nearby ever since you grabbed this character. So in the corner here, there is an eye scanner. And right there, that should work. And there, the police cameras are disabled. And that's going to make this area a whole lot easier. All right, so you can jump down here and proceed to the following checkpoint that you see on the screen right over here. Yeah, there. And that will trigger the next cutscene with El Hongo. Yeah, baby, I'm gonna be taking over all the business in town. Stick with me, everything's gonna be just fine. So if you turn around here and uh, zoom in, way at the back, you see that camera? It's disabled just like the other ones in this stage. So yeah, it's a, a pretty useful tip. If you actually don't know about it, then give it a try. So now this level is going to be a whole lot easier and you don't have to worry about all those cameras going left and right. And you got to think, okay, should I run now or run at the back? You know, now it's just pretty much just jump on the buildings go to the next checkpoint and that's pretty much it so we'll jump over here and there we go one more jump all right so the next one is actually just right on this angle here just run down and go into that checkpoint and that should be it yeah it's so much easier like i said without the cameras looking at you So after that cutscene, just uh, stick to the rooftop. It's pretty easy. Whoa, I fell down. El Hongo actually heard something. He turned around. Did you see? <laughs> but uh, as long as you don't stay too close to him, then you'll be okay. Yeah, so stay up top. Okay, I got the feeling one of those ghost-suited voodoo assholes is after me. I'm going up to the crib. Put the word out. Alright, so now we should get the last checkpoint we should reach and that should be it for this uh, timed part of the mission. Alright, let's go up here and this is the last one and that's it. Quick, I ain't got much time. Someone's fucking with us. Warn the dealers to watch out for trouble. Sure thing, jefe. Los Maradores, they are here to stay. Don't you worry about nothing, okay? Hey, hey, it's me. Look, the boy.
bus just came in, okay? Looking real jumpy. It looks like someone's not happy with taking over. So keep your eyes open. Anyone gives you any shit, you take them down, all right? All right, El Hongo's gun trade is next. So when that part of the timed missions is done, the game will actually spawn these three specific trucks with cargo at the back of them, and that is your bonus mission. So we gotta find three of these trucks around the uh, map here and destroy them. So lucky for us, the first one is very close by. It is in the car park area here. If you go to this area before the timed event is completed, then this truck will not spawn here. So there it is right there. See, I'll zoom in so you can have a look at it. That's what the truck looks like. And there's some cargo at the back. So this is the first one you want to destroy either with your spear gun or with your plasma caster, whatever you want. All right, that's one out of three. And the next one is actually beside the car park area, right down below, right there. So there it is, we'll zoom in. There it is, you see it? Right there. That's two out of three, all right. And the last one is a bit further around the corner later on in the stage. So I'll show you. Eventually I'm gonna run there, but uh, first, Let's uh, refill our energy because it's running low. All right, good. We'll switch back to the spear gun. So we'll do the bonus objective before we actually uh, go on to finish the um, main objective. So we gotta hunt down these uh, enemy units. It's all the guys that are at the hot dog stands pretty much. They're the dealers. So. Yeah, there's six of them, so five left, and there's only one more truck to find, and it should be around the corner. Eventually, when you run around, you're gonna find it. It's not that hard to find. There's two of them. Yeah, two dealers done. Good. All right, let's check this. Nope, there's nothing down there. Let's go in the corner. Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay, we'll get this dealer. That's three out of six. Nice. And there is the uh, last truck. You see it? We'll switch over here to the plasma caster, and there it is, right there. Zoom in and shoot it. Wait, um, that didn't work. Let's try again. There we go. Okay, three or three destroyed. That's done. Okay. Switch back to the uh, spear gun. You see, that was the bonus mission. It's completed. So, go to the hot dog uh, stand areas right here, and that is another dealer. Can these civilians kind of move like? Okay, let me get a better angle. Let's go to the back. Want to do a... If oh, damn, he heard me. Yeah. Then we'll stab him. Nice. Four out of six. Two left to go. Get out of my way. Good. Okay. And there's one dude over there. Doesn't matter. Just look for the guys at the hot dog stands. And there's one over there. I see you. Let's try to go behind him because I want to do the... Um, the stealth kill animation on this one. Let's see. Get a bit closer. Got you. All right. Nice. And there should be one more left. Oh, there's a spear gun ammo in the corner. Nice. Okay. You don't really have to use neural vision. You can if you want to, but uh, I mean, the map shows you a marker of your objective or your target anyway. So, yeah, it's optional if you want to use neural vision. And uh, there's a bunch of matadores. Oh, you know what? I can get them all with a single charged shot of the plasma caster. Yeah, okay. These are all enemies. Um, but what I need first is a bit of energy. Let's uh, recharge first. Ah, there's one over here. Good. All right. Let's go up here. And there's one. There it is. Okay, let's recharge because I want to take them all out with one single shot so nobody runs away. And let's see here. Uh, let's go to the place where I skinned that enemy. Let's do a super jump. There we go. There's that body. And there they are. And Oh wait, there's a civilian. Okay. Um, um, that is a civilian. Let me scan him first. I think it is. It is, okay, it's a civilian. Okay, he's gone, so we can uh, proceed. Lock on, charge up the plasma caster all the way, then release it. Got them all, nice, okay. And that should be it.
But now the invisible demon's progress up the food chain of Neonopolis was to bring it face to face with a predator of a different sort, in the form of Bruno Borgia's granddaughter. The man who broke and tamed this city would have been so proud of my dear Lucretia.